Right, welcome to the build series. So, currently at the minute, I'm working on the Honda uh, Rebel 250, and I'm trying to find a solution for the front controls. Now, I've been through about five different kind of uh, prototype solutions, and nothing seemed to work, or I just wasn't too happy with it. Um, so like the GS, I've gone through different prototypes like making bits out of wood and bolts and welding bits together. But yeah, I just wasn't happy with what was there. So I've been scratching my head for a really long time as to what to do with it. Um, and I was even going, well, I was thinking about going back to like the original foot peg, but I still didn't like the stance. It was horrible. So I happened to be rummaging around in one of my bits drawers. Um, and come across the CBR 900-600 rear sets that I bought for the GS that I'd never used in the end because obviously I've got the tech rear sets. So grabbed the rear sets and I offered them up to a position which I thought would work and it seems to it seems to work. <laughs> I need to do a bit of work with them uh, but I'm kind of happy with the look and I think they'll look um, half decent, shall we say? Um, I didn't want to say factory because I don't really want it to look factory, but they'll look pretty decent. Um, so yeah, let me show you what I've uh, what I've been getting up to. Another thing as well, you might have seen, I've got a drill press that I've I don't know treated myself to. Uh, it's not a brand new one, but it was pretty cheap. So yeah, and I'm really chuffed with it. It works. Well, it works like a drill press, but it's yeah, it's fantastic. So yeah, crack on. So what it is is what it is. is so what I've got is the as I said the CBR 900 um, brackets, and obviously they sat on the bike like that. But all I've done is flip them over and fit them on the bike. Now. I need them, well, I kind of need it to kind of, I need the bracket that kind of way. Obviously, I want the bracket to protrude past the exhaust, so that's why they flipped over. So what I'll have to do is just clean this all up when I do finally fit it. Now, I've put this bit of bar in at the bottom on the original um, boss, the original pegs, and then just kind of extended this metal bit over to here. Um, I'm not happy with that. It was just kind of I was playing around with it. Once I've bolted it all up, it's just not really kind of strong enough. So what I think I'm going to do is fit a or weld in a boss, so a bit of tubular boss over here and here. Um, put some captive nuts in them, and then bolt it directly to the frame. So yeah, that's the plan. We'll see how we go. Try and explain this a little bit. You're probably wondering what's going on with this mess here. So I was struggling to, well, what I've done is notched out the tube um, just to fit in with the frame. The only issue I had with that is I just couldn't notch out the two grooves in one piece. Uh, I was just really struggling just to get anything to line up exactly, and it was just a ball ache. So. What I did in the end was just cut the tube in half, 
do one side, get that sorted, do the other, get that all fine, and then just kind of roughly weld it together, back together, um, on the right angle bit of metal in the, in the shed, so it's squared up, because obviously I wanted it squared up with the frame as well. Uh, Threaded bolts through the top, that will need some spaces on, um, I've got some alley bar that I can just make some spaces out for that, so that's no issue. I think what I'm going to do now is throw on a couple of tack welds, uh, so I'll clean the frame up, chuck some tack welds on, and then I'll weld it up later on once the engine's out of the frame so I can have a good go at welding it. So yeah, let's crack on.